authorizing the use of military force, creating peacekeeping missions, and imposing sanctions are a few of the major roles of the United Nations Security Council. However, they have also come under fire for not being able to do enough to help solve world problems. Since 2010, there have been over 500 UN Security Council resolutions, and here are seven important ones that you should know. The first one, UN Security Council Resolution 1973, was signed on March 17th, 2011, and it authorized military action against Muammar Gaddafi in Libya. It started a NATO-led mission to end the Libyan civil war, and Gaddafi's government was overthrown after seven months of the mission. After a few years of relative stability, however, the second Libyan civil war started in 2014 and continues to rage on. Since then, the United Nations has not done very much in that part of the world. The second one is UN Security Council Resolution 1996, signed on July 8, 2011. And this one started the peacekeeping mission UNIMIS, or the UN Mission in South Sudan. And this one was tasked with keeping peace in South Sudan after the independence of South Sudan becoming uh, the world's newest nation state and the Sudanese civil war that resulted afterwards. This one has a peacekeeping force of 7,000 soldiers and in part is also tasked with stopping the work of the Lord's Resistance Army led by Joseph Kony who is an organization that has been trafficking slavery, sexual abuse against civilians, and the use of child soldiers. So it's a pretty tough one there. The third one we're going to look at is UN Security Council Resolution 2100, signed on April 25th, 2013. And this one established another peacekeeping force, MINUSMA, or the United Nations Multidimensional Integrated Stabilization Mission in Mali, which is tasked with maintaining peace in Mali after the civil war and a deal was brokered by the warring factions in 2012 to install interim president Diakunda Traore as this new interim president until new elections could be held in 2013. Peacekeeping forces there continue to patrol northern territory in Mali and protect against insurgencies happening. And to date this has been one of the UN's most dangerous peacekeeping missions where over 200 peacekeepers have been killed. The fourth UN Security Council resolution is UNSCR 2249, signed on November 20th, 2015. And this one has to do with the fight against ISIS and the authorization of military force, in part the authorization of US airstrikes. And this one reads that the resolution calls upon member states that have the capacity to do so to take all necessary measures to redouble and coordinate their efforts to prevent and suppress terrorist acts committed specifically by ISIL. And so a lot of the airstrikes that have been happening under the Obama administration in the US and continued under the Trump administration have been in part supported by this UN Security Council resolution. Number five is UN Security Council Resolution 2331 from December 20th, 2016. And this one is a general condemnation of human trafficking. And it condemns human trafficking and calls upon member states that have not yet done so to consider as a matter of priority ratifying or acceding to and to fully implement the UN Convention Against Transnational Organized Crime and its protocol to prevent, suppress, and punish trafficking in persons, especially women and children and it encourages member states to build strong partnerships with the private sector and civil society, including local women's organizations, and to redouble their efforts by encouraging these actors to provide information helping to identify, disrupt, dismantle, and bring justice to individuals and networks involved in trafficking. 
So this one shows us a really noble cause that the UN is trying to accomplish, but it doesn't necessarily have any means of actually enforcing a UN Security Council resolution like this. But what it does is it does offer states an idea of what the best practices are in order to try and minimize human trafficking happening in their countries. Number six is UNSCR 2334 from December 23rd, 2016. And this one has to do with the legality of Israeli settlements on Palestinian territory. And this one reads that the council reaffirms that the establishment by Israel of settlements in Palestinian territory occupied since 1967, including East Jerusalem, has no legal validity and constitutes a flagrant violation under international law and a major obstacle to the achievement of the two-state solution and a just, lasting, and comprehensive peace. However, Israeli settlements on Palestinian territory continue to be built. And so here we see a major contradiction in the views of Israelis and Palestinians. Palestinians believe that the continuing building of these settlements by the Israeli people is a violation of international law, which it is. However, the Israeli government believes that Palestinian territory is technically under Israeli occupation and Israel has ultimate sovereignty over that territory. So we see this major contradiction which is leading to one of the major reasons for why we have such a conflict uh, between Israeli and Palestinian authorities and why a peaceful settlement there has been so difficult to achieve. The final one, number seven, is UN Resolution 2375 from the 11th of September 2017. And this one imposes sanctions on North Korea for its nuclear weapons program. Part of those sanctions are a 30% reduction in oil trade to North Korea and a ban on buying North Korean textiles. However, we've seen criticism by the United States that China, for example, is breaking these sanctions. And while we see that the UN doesn't have an ability to really enforce protocols like this, and China can still end up acting in its best interest if it feels it has the right to do so. We'll leave off with one UN Security Council resolution that maybe should be part of uh, what the UN Security Council here should be doing and I got this idea from one of my global politics students and that there maybe should be a UN Security Council resolution starting a peacekeeping mission in eastern Ukraine where there's been a conflict between Russian-backed forces and Ukrainians over territory in Crimea and in the Donbass region which continues to see violence as a result and there was a uh, treaty, the Minsk II Accords, aiming to stop that violence, but the measures of that ceasefire have continually, continually been broken. And so a peacekeeping mission there might help stabilize the region. But it shows us one of the major challenges of the UN Security Council, where Russia has a veto over any possible UN Security Council resolutions. And so it's very unlikely that Russia is going to do a something against its interests in that region, even though maybe it would be in the best interests of the people there. So with that, we've seen examples of UN Security Council resolutions that fit all of the major roles that the Security Council is supposed to play, from peacekeeping to authorizing military use to authorizing sanctions and so on. This is obviously a very short list out of 500, so maybe there's a couple that I've missed and you can maybe mention those in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time.